Welcome back guys. It's been about a week since I did the unboxing and the initial thoughts for you guys on the Mayo armband and I've been using this on a daily basis. So today I'm going to share with you guys my experience of using this on a daily basis with my PC, with my device, Android device specifically, and how things have changed or did I change my opinions? Is it better? Is it worse than when I started initially? So I want to say thanks to Sprata for sending me this unit to try out. Again, this is Mayo made by Thalmic Labs and let's check it out. When you open up the box, you greet it with the Mayo itself. This is essentially the armband. It has, obviously you can see your different sensors here. Uh, and what they refer to these things are is basically a medical grade stainless steel EMG sensors. They're highly sensitive and they're basically three on each piece. Uh, now, even though three of the main units on top are wider than the small ones, you'll notice here they're different sizes. The sensors themselves are exactly the same size and they're basically three pieces. Now, each one, each three sensors provide us different types of measurements. Uh, there's a three axis gyro Scope, there's a three axis accelerometer and a three axis magnetometer to be able to get all the different readings that Mayo needs to be able to get you the gestures and the control that you want to do. In the box, you're also greeted with three different items. Uh, there are little clips here that they provide us in a small bag that they help us to be able to basically resize the armband. Uh, as I'll show you guys in a second when I put it on my arm, it needs to basically be pretty snug on your arm. The next thing we have here is a Bluetooth adapter that you can use with your PC. It's a small little dongle, uh, basically blue coloring, very flat, very easy and it's intended to use for pairing and connecting to your PC. Last but not least is the USB cable that you can use to be able to charge your system or your unit, and uh, it is basically a micro USB cable. So using the Mayo is very simple. You insert your arm. The one thing I would actually put in and say that you need to make sure that you do correctly, obviously I was doing wrong, is there's a little port here that you normally use for charging. That port has to be A, closed, B, has to be facing away. So if I'm putting in my arm, it has to be in this direction. You put in directly on your forearm, and as long as you're basically moving your arm and it doesn't move, you have a good position. If it's moving, slipping or anything, use the provided clips and it will make it slightly tighter so that it fits your arm and you're able to use it. Um, it needs a few minutes for it to warm up and that's actually part of the instruction. They tell you to just leave it for a few minutes for it to warm up. And what will happen essentially is that the color on the blue LED indicator here, which is flashing blue right now, will go solid. And then we'll have also a secondary color here that tells us it's ready to use. This is the Mayo Diagnostic page and basically it's a website that you navigate to directly. You can actually go directly to diagnostics.mayo.com um, or you can basically use it directly with the launcher that you have built into your system. Uh, and it basically just navigates, you notice here, it has the, uh, the three axis uh, configuration which is basically sensing my movement. You can see the main movement here as I'm moving my hands, uh, it basically changes the different setup. Um, you have a representation of the Mayo with the different sensors and then the different readings that it's getting. Um, and of course, under this gestures here on the right side, you're able to see basically what I'm doing. So if I unlock directly, uh, it can highlight which ones I'm trying to do. And it basically has really good res uh, resonance uh, as far as basically what you're doing because of the calibration that you get to do with it. Uh, within the Mayo app or the Mayo launcher that you have here, you can go directly under Mayo Armband Manager. And you have two different settings. Uh, one first is the status just tells you that it's connected. Uh, pinging it, just you let it know that it's connected. Turning it off, this is for long-term travel. Uh, it does disable the Mayo and the only way to turn it back on is by using the USB cable, connecting it back to the PC that you're traveling with. So it kind of makes it a little bit more um, battery con conservation mode as opposed to basically just you know randomly being on and having to recharge it when you get to the next location. Uh, next you have here is details. You can rename your Mayo. I have renamed mine to say just a TK Mayo. Um, you know, show Mayo gestures, of course. You have a little toggle on the right side. If I double tap, it shows up on the right side. Um, again, and hide overlay uh, when locked and display screen, of course. Uh, calibration, which is what I found to be really nice. Out of the box, when you first install it, it asks you to calibrate Mayo to a specific Thalmic Lab profile. Uh, but you can do custom profiles with this so that if you find that it doesn't read it quite well, you can custom profile and set up a new profile under and just say set it up. And I've basically went ahead and set up mine. Um, that's one of the main benefits of this. And then that's pretty much it on this end. Uh, you can add an additional Mayo if you do have one or you can remove it. Um, and you can basically just keep it in. The other option that you have here within the launcher itself is the ability to go to the our app manager. And this gives us a list of all the existing apps that are installed on the Mayo. 
And basically those are hooks or connectors that you're able to use to turn on, stop, and control certain things. So I've installed VLC, Spotify, Netflix, iTunes, as of course, Fruit Ninja, YouTube Connector, and there's also a presentation mode. So if we go in directly into our browser, I'm just gonna open up um, YouTube, I'm gonna go to uh, my channel, and I'm gonna open up just a, a video with kind of a, a point of reference. So the video is playing, I can double tap. I can pause the video. I can swipe right to skip slightly forward, swipe right again, swipe, and then play. And then stop. Play again. And we can also bring from the top down where we're able to uh, bring in uh, somewhat of a, like a menu situation. So if I bring down from the top, And then as long as I don't uh, open my hand, I can navigate different options that you have here. YouTube connector, Mayo keyboard, and the Mayo mouse. You can scroll down. And it has an aggregate list of some shortcuts that you're able to configure. But an example would be here, let's say I want to go to Google+. Plus. Opening my hand at Google+, Plus opens up a new tab on my browser and gives me access to Google+, Plus and it loads right away for me. So that's one nice benefit that you get access to. The other thing that really, really nice out of the actual Mayo application is presentation mode. I'm going to switch over to presentation mode here, which kind of changes the profile on the system. And I'm going to start by going, I'll cancel here. And basically you swipe or you activate pages by just double tapping. So this is a test of Mayo for presentations. Now, if I press it and if I make a fist, I get a mouse, a mouse pointer. I'm not sure if you guys could see that here. Um, if I switch over to the left, it becomes more of a trail and you're able to basically put it, uh, put in a much better situation, basically highlighting certain text. And I no longer have to make a fist, but if I double tap again and I make a fist and swipe to the right, it gets into magnification mode and you're able to magnify wherever your mouse pointer used to be. So um, you can double tap again and then it goes back to normal presentation. I wanted to show you guys real quick the applications that I'm using directly with my Mayo uh, armband. There's four major applications that I have. There's the Mayo Whip, the Mayo Phone, the Mayo Tasker plugin that enables us to control Tasker functionalities, as well as the Mayo Music. Mayo Music is pretty simple. Most of the things that you need to do to interface are one at a time, so you can't have two applications running. What you do is go to the Connect tab on the top right, Right now you can see that my Mayo is connected. It says TK Mayo. It tells you the version of the firmware that's on it. And a green dot here on the right gives you the ability to understand that it's connected. If I tap it again, it disconnects. It just basically lets it, releases it from this mod. And I can go back, go home, go back into my applications. And then let's say I want to launch the Mayo Whip application. I can say scan one more time, connected. Once we get the green dot again on the right side, the app itself is running and it's ready to use. Uh, I can go back here and then just Double tap. This is the Mayo application itself. The main benefits of this application is that you can see visually what are the movements that you're doing with your arm. Double tapping unlocks it. You can see here, I can go between open fist to be able to play, pause, pick up, answer calls, and hang up. Move left, move right, make a fist to change the volume on the unit itself. And it just changes the volume all the way up and down. Right now it's on ringtone because there's no music playing, but had it playing any music, it would automatically go directly to that. It would control the volume for that. So I've used the unit for about a week now. My usage averages between 5 a.m. and obviously when I get home and ready to go to sleep. Uh, first couple of days, I was only able to get to about three o'clock in the afternoon. That's part of the honeymoon phase. Sometimes you just basically overuse it. But if you spread your usage around and you make sure to disconnect your Mayo unit, either from the PC or the Android or your mobile device, uh, you'll have much longer battery life as it's no longer keeping the ping alive and it's trying to basically send sensing uh, movement within your arm directly to the unit itself. Uh, I found that it, obviously there's more support on the PC side as far as the PC and the Mac side, as far as uh, you know, hooks, applications, different functionalities, presentation mode, I feel like a very big wow factor there. Um, and on the Android side, I found that very basic functionalities, play, pause music, uh, skip track, volume control, controlling the phone, answering and hanging up calls, basic commands. But where it really shined, which was something that was really nice, is the integration with Tasker. There's a Myo Tasker app on the market itself. You do need to have Tasker installed and you need to have obviously profiles set up in there for different functionalities. And you can trigger them using your Myo uh, armband. 
Uh, those things are functional as long as you can find a purpose for it. Uh, and so that's what kind of made me wanting to try it here. What initially made me wanting to use this was, you know, obviously Armin Van Buren has two of these, one on each arm in all of his shows where he basically controls the lighting effects, the different motions, and just does a very big wow factor from a presentation point of view. Uh, and my experience was really set to that level. I was expecting to be able to control a whole bunch of different things. Now, there are hooks and different things that you can control drones with them, other things that you can see here on different videos on YouTube, and I'll, I'll give you guys a link to their website. You can check those out. Uh, but obviously from a home base use, uh, it's nice, it's functional, it works really good, and you're able to use it on a daily basis. You can keep it on all day if you'd like. Uh, now, as far as the pros and cons, and I'm gonna have to go with some cons in here, I'll just let you guys know. On the pro side, very nice, easy to use, charges, um, easily lasts through a day, um, and has a lot of functionalities on the PC. Uh, and it also supports Android devices, which is a big thing for me since I actually have Android devices. Uh, the, main, the other thing I want to make sure that you guys understand on the pro side is just the form factor. It fits really nice. If you're wearing a long sleeve, it's almost unnoticeable. Uh, the LED is not very bright, so even in dim lights, it's just basically nice. It pulsates if you need it. Otherwise, when it's solid blue, you're connected. You need to make sure to let it warm up on your arm before you start using it and sync it to the PC or the device that you want to use. And if you're not using it, disconnect it, you'll have a much better battery life. On the not so necessarily con side, but more maybe recommendations for the future, um, I think the double tap to wake is not exactly the best way to activate the Mayo. And I say that because as a form of functionality, what I've had over the week of using it, I've activated this by doing by just the forefinger, the middle finger, double tapping my hand, or if I just held my steering wheel in a strong grip when I'm driving. It activates it because the functionality triggers the same movement within the forearm. So maybe a different gesture or something like that that being able to implement it at a later time would help. Uh, the sensors are very good. It works really nice. I've had quite a few, I would say, false triggers, which it turns on, skips the music, changes things for me, again, by just having it activate inadvertently. Again, double tapping on the table would have activated the armband itself. Uh, but overall, very happy with it. I think it's a very nice uh, product. It, there's been one update since I've received it. Uh, it works pretty well as far as what I needed for, as I showed you guys with the initial with the hands on the PC. You're able to do presentation mode, play and pause YouTube videos. It's great if your hands are needing to be free and you want to control uh, the devices. So as usual, make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel. I want to say thanks to this product for sending me this unit to try out. Again, this is the Mayo by Thalmic Labs. It's a great product. Sells for about 200 bucks right now off of their website. You can order directly. I think it ships from Canada. And definitely uh, worth a check out if you have a tech enthusiast in your life that likes to have things that are unique. And if nothing else, it's a definite conversation starter from any point of view. So I'll see you guys on the next one.